1906, astronomer and businessman Percival Lowell launched a search for Planet X, a giant planet orbiting the Sun beyond Neptune. Lowell was convinced that Planet X existed based on some supposed irregularities he had observed in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus. His belief eventually led to the discovery of Pluto in 1930, though scientists later determined that the dwarf planet was too small to have a gravitational impact on Neptune's orbit, let alone the gigantic Uranus. Today, the Planet X hypothesis is largely considered to be discredited, but the gravitational forces acting on Neptune and Uranus remain very real, and that has continued to puzzle scientists even today. There is something huge lurking in the distant reaches of our solar system. Now, scientists believe there might be something hiding out in the cold, vast darkness, only much farther than Lowell thought. Scientists recently simulated the unstable celestial mechanics of the early solar system. They found that there is a possibility that one or more planet-sized bodies came to rest in the Oort Cloud. The Oort Cloud represents the very edges of our solar system, a region some 10,000 to 20,000 times farther from the Sun than Earth. The thinly dispersed collection of icy materials starts roughly 200 times farther away from the Sun than Pluto and stretches halfway to our Sun's nearest starry neighbor, Alpha Centauri, which hosts Proxima b. We know very little about the Oort Cloud. This cosmic cloud is so dark and so cold that it has never been glimpsed. Not even by even our most powerful telescopes. NASA explains it as a big, thick-walled bubble made of icy pieces of space debris the sizes of mountains and sometimes larger. The Oort Cloud might contain billions, or even trillions, of objects. And these objects could be anything. Scientists now believe that our solar system could be hiding an alien planet in the Oort cloud located billions of miles beyond Pluto. Scientists ran complex computer simulations to assess how solar systems tend to cast off large planets, and also how a planetary system could catch one such orphan planet. While a cast-off planet requires a kinetic energy threshold to leave the pull of its star, it also needs a significant amount of energy for another star system to trap it in. Simulations suggested that a tiny fraction of such celestial encounters may end up with a star's gravitational field catching a castaway orphan planet and claiming it as its own. They say this is more likely to happen when such a planet drifts close to a star system's outer edge or cloud with up to a tenth of a star's original planets likely to be cast out into deep space. Scientists say there is a 7% chance of our solar system capturing a nice giant planet like Uranus in the Oort Cloud. That would be a groundbreaking discovery if it comes true. But what do I know? Beyond the Blue